Hello everyone, I am Xavier Vargas and welcome to another video that we are going to do. Uh, this is a kind of uh, a tour of our office here in Santo Domingo. So I'm going to give you a little on some sections and another of my colleague is only is going to introduce you to another area of the first levels of our offices here in Santo Domingo. It's usually where we uh, close the deals and you're not going to get uh, the mostly all the information that you're going to need. If you want to meet here with uh, one of our agents, you can do it uh, with an appointment, obviously. And of course, we're going to give you all the, the information that you're going to need to do a safe investment here in Dominican Republic. I'm going to show you right now what is the lobby area. As you can see, is the logo behind me. And over here, we can uh, wait till you pay to the rest the area of the, in one of the offices areas, right? So here, as you can see, it's a lobby, pretty cute lobby, and we have also one of the meeting room, the meeting room number one, and we have the human resources area over here, as you can see, and the main office where the leaders also meet with the brokers and also with our clients too, if it is necessary. Hi everybody, here uh, we have the living room where everybody get together, ABR is the kitchen. Let's see, some guys are there. Then we can have coffee and all the things. We have other space meeting, that is number two. Meeting space number three, there. And we have the bathroom here. Other space that we have is our co-working space. We are the broker get together. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's at Sever Vargas here and today we're going to talk about, well, you already see in this video that I'm going to do a compilation from the first one that we did in my office in Santo Domingo, so this is like uh, the second part on the same video, let's go and do it on the same video, so I'm going to talk about um, the return of the investment that you can have here in Dominican Republic that could be different from any part of the world that you could see me. Uh, depending on where you live, you know that there is a different kind of real estate market. Uh, some units sell better than others and some units have, or kind of units, have a different return of investment. But I'm going to talk specifically of the ones that I know here in Dominican Republic. So, is the case of the tourist projects that we can find here, the, mostly those areas uh, as any real estate uh, location is, is priority. It's the first step that you need to consider uh, for you to invest, you need to know the location, you need to know what is surrounding the project. So in that case, I'm going to tell you more or less the return that you can have depend, uh, depending on where you can, you can invest. Usually, if we are talking about return of investment, is an income that you receive uh, annually um, from the one that is uh, staying on your unit. The rentability can be different depending even of the, the project that you want to invest. If it is a touristic project that has uh, some kind of administration, what we call the condotel system, it's like a condotel lookalike. And also we have the monthly income that you can get from a long instance uh, renter uh, to the one that you rent. Right? That one is going to pay you a fee monthly, right? Over the year, and over the year you can estimate more or less how much is going to you are going to get. Usually for this kind of investment, and also for the short-term investment. Depending on which one do you choose, uh, you're going to be a little bit more quiet of mind. And depending also on how is the administration, you only need to sit back and wait for the check at the end of the month. So in that case, 
um, you can expect for a normal rentability of 5%. This percentage is deducing all the expenses that your unit can have, what we call the expenses. The expenses is basically the utility, what we call electricity, water, uh, telephone and internet, that is the basic, and also the management, the content management and maintenance too. Those fees, you are going to... <laughs> Sorry, my, <laughs> my producer is taking care of the scene, right? And also, <laughs> and also yes, um, those are basically the expenses that you're going to have. Uh, the utilities, the condo hotel administration, and the HOA fee. Um, if you go for a short-term rentability, that is for, uh, by default that you're going to get the condo hotel administration, okay? That is basically a company or a... All right, that is... Yeah, <laughs> and you can see that it's a construction truck, so there is a lot of movement. And also, yes, you're going, the different kind of administration that you can get uh, for, for short-term rentability is going to be uh, the administration of the project, can be condo, the condo hotel system, can be the administration of uh, one individual is uh, an agent that uh, dedicated to rent your, your unit, mostly they work in Airbnb only. And uh, the other option that you can save uh, expenses is when you do it by yourself. But overall, the project needs to um, need to accept that you rent the unit by a short-term rentability. And the other one is uh, long-term rentability. It's basically by a contract. The, the one that you are renting is going to stay on your unit for a minimum of uh, one year. And in some times, by contract, is even the minimum stay, long-term stay, is uh, six months. But uh, that is not usual here in Dominicana. Yeah. Um, but uh, returning to the percentage, yes, what you can expect is a 5% deducting the expenses. Uh, if your unit is basically 100,000, uh, you can expect around 5,000. Um, um, you can expect 5,000 annually. Uh, that is basically the return that you're going to get. Um, why is it important to have a real, a real or a real estate agent? Well, that percentage can go up, right? Can be from a 5 to even a 12 is the, in my experience, the case that I have here in the Dominican Republic. The most that I have seen is a 12% annually. So it's basically determined what projects have those kind of facility, what projects have arrangement with the government that can help to the frequency of occupancy per year that you're going to have. And also the location is the very important because uh, for example, you can start at a 5%, but in a few years, the location can grow up. And if you have a marketplace close by that is going to be built at the same time, even if you expect a 5% when that marketplace or theme park that we usually uh, do, or aquatic park that usually you can find in Punta Cana, you can expect more over the year. So that is going to be the case. Lady. Hola, lady. 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 Ah, Hola, es una dama. Estados Unidos. Hola, Estados Unidos. Hola, gringos. <ríe> Dile, compren y en Punta Cana. Ah, sí, me muestra el, el loguito ahí. Claro, compren en Punta Cana. <ríe> so, yes. Uh, that is basically the return of investment. That you can, we're going to start later about plus value and the different kind of real estate investment that you can do. Dominican Republic is usually the same as everywhere else. We can invest in apartments, units of apartments, can invest in a land, piece of land and that you can also rent and can also invest in commercial real estate. I need to be, uh, uh, I, need, I need to get more information about the real commercial real estate market because I think that there is a possibility that you can get even more than that 12% depending uh, if we choose uh, wisely where to invest so like subscribe and follow me on instagram i think i'm going to edit uh, this video and put it in the corner right here and yes 
thanks to everyone for staying in this moment of the video and see you next time. Bye bye. This is a bonus that I almost forgot to tell. It is about the way that you can print your unit is going to vary depending on the percentage that you're going to get annually. Usually when you rent a unit uh, by long term, that percentage is almost fixed. Don't, uh, don't increase over time. But if you do it uh, by a short term rentability, it's even in some cases better depending on the project because uh, you can start at a 5% but can increase so depending on the seasons can also increase or the, the tourists that have the area. If the tourists increase, the rentability also do, uh, do so. So in that case, I would recommend if you are willing to accept uh, to have uh, an increase on the seasons and the, month and the annual income that your unit can get, it's a little bit risky. It can be in some season a seven, and another ones can be a six. If it's a tournament in your area, it's the case of Capcana, and, uh, one of the locations that I can suggest. Also, it's good to have it into consideration, right? So that is the plus, and keep in touch. Bye-bye.